हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दी बाइजूस एग्जाम प्रेप द मोस्ट कॉम्प्रेंसिव एप फॉर ऑल एग्जाम्स नाउ इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम एनालॉग एंड दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन ब्रांच दैट इज सेकेंड ऑर्डर बटरवर्थ हाई पास फिल्टर ओके नाउ इन दिस सेशन आई विल गिव यू द आइडिया अबाउट पैसिव फिल्टर एंड देन फर्स्ट ऑर्डर बटरवर्थ फिल्टर एंड देन वॉट इज द सेकेंड ऑर्डर बटरवर्थ filter okay first of all my introduction myself sanjay rathi i'm having around 21 plus years of teaching experience i have qualified and selected for engineering services exam that is conducted by upsc and these are my rank air 16 in esc 2005 and air 21 in esc 2008 and i have mentored more than 1 lakh students for these competitive exams okay now what is the sec second order high pass butterworth filter now watch this diagram here we are using the two capacitor here we are using the two resistors r1 and r2 rf and r1 dash this resistor is used to increase the gain of the system and here we are using one active element that is called operational amplifier and that's why this filter is active filter okay but before giving idea about this i will explain the passive filter first order butterworth filter and then what second order butterworth filter this is important diagram right now this is a high pass rc circuit watch this diagram here it is r here it is c this is called high pass rc circuit or high pass filter hpf right it is also called as leading circuit why it is called leading circuit because it will provide you the positive phase shift right it will provide you the positive phase shift okay in one one of my video already i have explained this remember this if this is the c connected here r connected here we are taking the output across the r we are giving input at this point then it is called high pass filter okay always remember capacitor what is the impedance because of the capacitor that is the zc is given by 1 by omega c for dc omega is equal to 0 zc is equal to infinite and therefore capacitor act as open circuit for dc right and that's why here this capacitor will act as open circuit for dc and this is this is called dc blocking capacitor what is the meaning of this in case of high pass filter what will be the output dc of the output the dc of the output will be always zero why because this capacitor will block all the dc component okay second thing why it is called high pass filter high pass filter means it will pass the high frequency component but it will stop what low frequency component okay so that is the diagram for this this is the stop band this is called pass band the slope of this line is what 20 db per decade this is the positive slope now after that here this is the pass band it will pass the high frequency component it will suppress the low frequency component exactly at zero frequency the gain will be zero right means when we are finding the gain in db it will be negative okay so that is the case and what about the phase shift watch this it will give you always positive safe phase shift exactly at zero frequency it will give you the 90 degree phase shift at the cut off frequency it will give the 45 degree phase shift and here it will give the zero degree phase shift okay now here this is called active filter active filter means we are using voltage follower here voltage follower here this is the active filter r and c r and c this is the first order and then it is followed by a voltage follower always remember this is a high pass filter high pass filter it is followed by a voltage follower the input resistance of the voltage follower is almost infinite right and that is called what active filter filter what will be the question cut off frequency fc this is called omega c by 2 pi and that is nothing but 1 by 2 pi rc this is the 3 db cut off frequency for this filter right 
then the frequency response curve will always always uh, almost remain same that is the frequency response curve same thing only it is followed by what voltage follower and the for the gain for the voltage follower is 1 and the phase shift is what 0 now third thing this is this is a first order butterworth filter right but always remember what we actually what we want ideally we want this type of filter this is called pass band this is called stop band right this is the pass band and that is the stop band and this is called cutoff frequency this is called cutoff frequency above cutoff frequency the filter should pass the signal below cutoff frequency it should stop the signal this is called high pass filter this is the frequency response curve but what will happen in this case the gain will fall like this like this is the stop and pass band first of all it will fall like this this is the slope is called 20 db per decade right second if you want ideal condition then this is called ideal condition like this slope is what 40 db per decade third slope like this is the 60 db per decade 20 db first 20 db second 40 db third what 60 db per decade now the third one is the near to what ideal one if it is a 20 db per decade slope this is called first order 40 db per decade this is called second order 30 db per uh, 60 db per decade that is called third order filter so my dear friends from the diagram it is clear that third one is near to ideal condition this is the pass band and that is what stop band so in first order that is the case the slope is 20 db per decade like this this is the slope 20 db per decade this is called frequency response second order the slope will be 40 db per decade but we have to use what extra r and c here we are using the r here here we are using the c when i am connecting c this is r this is c this is r then it will create what second order filter right watch this diagram this is called second order high pass butterworth filter c1 r1 c2 r2 always remember there is a negative phase a negative feedback this is the negative feedback there is a also a positive feedback but always remember in this diagram the negative feedback is dominant negative feedback is dominant right there will be a two feedback positive and negative but negative feedback is dominant now what will be the cutoff frequency that will be the question first question what is the name of this diagram always watch this portion c r c r that will give you the idea that it is a high pass filter second thing what will be the cutoff frequency for this diagram so fc fc is equal to omega c by 2 pi and then it will become 1 by 2 pi root over r1 r2 c1 c2 if these are different r1 r2 c1 c2 and then always remember the cutoff frequency is what is the cutoff frequency r1 r2 c1 c2 okay root over r1 r2 c1 c2 then if r1 is equal to r2 is equal to r c1 is equal to c2 is equal to c then the fc will become then the fc will become 1 by 2 pi rc that is the important formula from this diagram okay remember this second thing always remember if when we are talking about the frequency when we are talking about the frequency let omega is equal to 0 capacitor jc 1 by omega c that is what infinite and these two capacitor will act as open circuit and they will block the signal they will block the signal therefore at this point we are going to get the zero and that's why the output will be zero 
output will be 0 remember that and at omega is equal to infinite zc is equal to 0 from this put the infinite 0 means capacitor act as short circuit when capacitor act as short circuit this is short circuit this is short circuit, short circuit the input at this point this is the v in when the input is at this point is v in the output will be 1 plus rf by r1 dash r1 dash into v in means exactly at infinite capacitor will act as short circuit and the gain will be maximum what will be the gain then v out by v in is nothing but 1 plus rf by r1 dash always remember rf by r1 dash and that will be the question means it will block the low frequency it will pass the high frequency component and that's why it is a high pass filter and here you are getting the idea what is the cutoff frequency that will be the two important question in a gate exam and as well as in engineering services isro drdo and bark exam remember it is a active filter now what are the points a butterworth filter is a type of active filter remember that it is a type of active filter where the frequency response of the filter across its pass band is relatively flat pass band is relatively flat this is the flat very less variation with respect to variation in frequency an additional rc network connected to the first order butterworth filter to obtain a second order high pass filter second order high pass butterworth filter has the advantage that the gain roll off very fast after the cutoff frequency in this top band that is the what what, what was the slope 40 db per decade okay near to ideal condition so my dear friend in first session already i have given you the idea about the low pass filter this is the low pass filter please watch my that session on low pass filter first order butterworth low pass filter second order butterworth low pass filter then finally subscribe the channel like the session and share the link of this session thank you for attending the session thank you very much